Hey guys, uh, just doing a little vlog kind of thing here. Because I just got like a decent sized, all like uh, <clears throat> comic book kind of stuff. And I just wanted to kind of like do a little unboxing kind of video, I guess. So, um, my comic book, not my comic book store, I don't own it. But a comic book store uh, near me has been doing this really good sale. Where they're basically just getting rid of like a bunch of... I don't know if it's inventory or like used books or something that are just in really good condition, but they've just been getting rid of, you know, a ton of graphic novels for like, uh, all of them are six dollars. I don't know how much these are going for in like eBay or anything, but I'm I'm just I bought them a bunch. Not all of them, I bought a bunch of them. Anyway, so this is stuff that I bought a couple of days ago. I only bought two things. I, I mean, I bought some like, I think I have some. There, most of them are in those piles, but I bought some single issues of like Batman. Those are all, like, full series or things that I'm currently following or something. Um, I keep all my other just random single issues in that long box. Anyways, uh, back to this. Um, so this is, like, a Straczynski, The Amazing Spider-Man by Straczynski. It's, like, book four. Um, it's about Peter Parker moving into the, um, the, not the Baxter building, that's Fantastic Four. So, I don't know, Stark, the Stark Tower or something, I don't know, it's, it's weird, um, it's, it, it's a little, it's, yeah, it's, it's kind of weird, like, it's not just about that, there's a, other plots in there, and it's weird, I feel like I have to get the next one, like, the fifth, she's in see Spider-Man, because there's, like, I don't know, like, there's a bit of a cliffhanger at the ending, not a cliffhanger, but, like, there's some un unanswered questions that I'm sure will be answered in the next few books, I'll have to pick the next ones up. If I see them. Next thing we have uh, Astonishing Spider-Man Wolverine. Wolverine and Spider-Man get sent back in time. And that's the whole plot. And they, they're they basically time hopping. Now for all the garbage that I bought today. Because I got a, get a nice uh, nice paycheck. For my job. And um, I, got some, I got some cool stuff. Uh, I got... This Captain America book. I have no idea what it is. I bought it completely blind. I just thought the cover art looked kind of cool because it's got this guy with pistols in the background and you know, I'll flip through it a bit. There's swastikas and stuff, which means it's more mature Captain America. It's not some silly, not some silly one for the kiddos. I bought this Hulk book because it was the thickest book in the box. You they had like essentials and stuff like that, but essential like D like Marvel essentials and the big DC books have a tendency to be kind of boring, or at least the I only own one actually. I own Essentials Godzilla, and it was kind of boring. I, I actually don't think I finished it because it was like really boring. I didn't like it. It might just be that one, but I don't know. Maybe it's the lack of color. I, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a man child. I bought that blind because it was it was thick. And I wanted something kind of thick that I I knew I wasn't going to get bored of. Or at least I was like, probably wouldn't get bored of that. Got the whole bashing things to a pulp. Here's something that I, I probably... I, I bought this because it was thick. And I was like, oh, I'm going to get a lot of read time out of this. I'm not going to need a new comic book for a while. It's got like Superman saying... For the earth to live, one of us, one of us must die, and I don't know. It, it seemed interesting. I have a feeling I might be. I'm a little. I'm a little iffy. I might get bored by it, but it, I mean, it all. It's beefy, and it looks kind of cool. So I mean, it'll, it'll look okay on the shelf. If nothing else, I'm. I'm. I'm actually pretty excited to read that. I'm sure it'll be fun because I've never. I've never read any of like the, showcases basically Marvel Essentials from DC. Never actually read one, and it might be okay. It might be pretty good. I don't know. Marvel Essentials is probably fine. I just, I just, I'm just dumb. Weird. I picked up this. This was fifty cents. It's got a shiny cover. It's got a hollow cover. It's got Peter Parker covered in green slime. Nickelodeon Gak baby. And I, I. It's got like two store. I don't know. I just bought this because. The cover art looks cool and it's 50 cents. I'm a, I'm a simple man with simple needs. And also a, ch a child um, on the inside. Uh, I read the Batman series, the new DC Rebirth Batman series. So I picked up the three most recent issues because I was playing the catch-up game for a while. And I just wanted to get over with it. 
Like those, <laughs> those three comics cost more than one graphic novel, which makes me angry. And last but not least, I just bought a bunch of sleeves because I'm all out of sleeves, and I like to sleeve my comics because um, it keeps them safe. You know, one time I I left a, a when I was when I was a stupid boy, I left a really greasy plate on top of my box of comic books, and you want to know what kept them from from getting greasy? Sleeves. The outside of some of the sleeves were greasy. I had to replace a bunch of sleeves. Not very much was greasy. So I started opening this because of video. So I was like, you know, I'll open it on video and give you a review of these sleeves. Oh wait, there's there's a tab up here. I can just pull. Oh, stupid idiot. Um, time for a sleeve review. Well, it's definitely a sleeve, and that's the end of the, the vlog. Uh, uh.